Hi guys, my name is D. Sri Chandra Reddy of CSD C section. So my topic is equal and my VW or TikTok topic is equal and comparison of series and parallel. So let's dive into the topic. So objectives after completing this module you should be able to. So my topic is to calculate equal and capacitance and series and parallel. So I am explaining about the calculate of equal and capacitance of number of capacitors connected in series or in parallel. So determine the charge uh, next determine the charge and voltage across the chosen capacitor in a network when given capacitors are external applied potential difference. So uh, let's dive into the topic the ele electrical circuit symbols. So electrical circuits are often two or more capacitors grouped together and attached to an energy source such as a battery. The following symbols are uh, used. So the capacitor the batteries which we use in our electrical circuits are different for ground and the battery and the capacitor. So these are the following types of the symbols are often used. So uh, our topic is capacitors. So capacitors are the other devices connected along a single path are said to be connected in series. So, so our topic is uh, uh, capacitors. So what is capacitors? Capacitor is which stores the electrical energy. So the capacitors are the. So what is capacitance? Capacitance is a device used in variety of electrical circuits. The capacitance C of a capacitor is defined as the ratio of the magnitude of the charge or either conductor to the magnitude of the potential defined in the conductor. So, so capacitor is used in the electrical circuits. It defines the capacitance is the ratio of the uh, charge and the potential difference so capacitance is a conductance c is equal to q by delta b where units are faraday and faraday is equal to 1 c 1 coulomb by voltage so a faraday is very large often we will see uh, mu uh, mu faraday or pf uh, and the uh, uh, permutative value is uh, 8.85 into 10 power minus 12 as the delta v is the potential difference across the circuit development or device so we can know the potential difference or we calculate so we represent the actual potential due to the given charge at a given location and next the parallel plate capacitor the capacitance of a device depends on the geometrical arrangement of the conductors the capacitance of a device depends on the geometrical arrangement of a conductors for a parallel plate capacitance whose plates are separated by air C is equal to mu sigma naught A by D. So here the uh, in naught is permeability, sustainability, and area is the A is the area and D is the distance between the capacitors, two capacitors. So next parallel plate capacitor example. So the parallel the capacitor consists of two parallel plates, each have area A that are separated by a distance D. The plates carry equal and opposite charges. When connected to the battery, the charge is pulled off on one plate and transferred to the another plate. The transfer stops when delta V is equal to delta V battery. So let's talk about the application of capacitor in camera flash. The flash attachment on a camera uses a capacitor. A battery used to charge the capacitor. The energy stored in the capacitor is released when the button is pushed to take a picture. The charge is developed very quickly illuminating the subject when the more light is needed. So the application of capacitor in, in, uh, are examples of camera flash, how we can work. So, so a battery in the charge is the capacitor as you know. So the energy stored in the capacitor is released when we push the button to take a picture. So the charge is developed very quickly illuminating the subject when more light is needed. So application capacitor next computers, how we can work in computers. Computers use capacitance many ways. Some keyboards use capacitors at the basis of the keys. When the key is pressed, the capacitor spacing decreases and capacitance increases. The key is recognized by the change in capacitance. So capacitors in circuits. A circuit is a collection of subjects usually containing a source of electrical energy connected to elements to convert electrical energy into other forms. So circuit diagram can be shown in the real path, real circuit. So in capacitors in parallel. When connected in parallel, both have the same potential to be across them. In resistance, we have 
parallel as same uh, potential difference but in capacitors in parallel we have same potential difference across them in parallel so we know when the capacitors are first connected in the circuits electrons are transferred from left to place to the right place leaving the left plate positively and right plate negative. so it transfers from positively charge to negatively charged so next the flow of charges ceases when the voltage across the capacitors equals that the battery so the flow of charges cases ceases the voltage across the capacitors equals that the of the battery the capacitors is their maximum charge when the flow of charges exceeds so in parallel the total charge is equal to the sum of the charges on the capacitor so q, q total is equal to q1 plus q2 so i will see now the diagram the potential difference between q1 v1 v2 and total uh, is same so it distributes the it is the Char charges in parallel but it is equal in potential difference so the potential difference of the capacitors is the same see as it is equal to the voltage of the battery next more about capacitance in parallel we can discuss more like uh, definition of capacitors in parallel how oh. the capacitors can replace with one capacitor with a count capacitance of c q so like uh, in parallel c equivalent is equal to c1 plus c2 the equivalent capacitor must have exactly the same external effect on the circuit as the original capacitors. The equivalent capacitor are the same exactly have the same external effect. So capacitor in final. The final what we conclude. So C equivalent to C1 plus C2 plus C2 plus like so on. The equivalent capacitor on the parallel combination of capacitors is greater than any of the individual capacitors. So we if we take C1 plus C2 plus C3 in parallel is it is greater than C equivalent in, in, in not a C equivalent is always greater than C1 and C equivalent is always greater than C2 like this next we can talk about the capacitors in series and in series the capacitors are connected to end to end end to end the magnitude of the charge must be same on all the places so the charge in the capacitors is always same in series so but the potential difference will be different so the current will be is same flow to the series as you know in the in the resistance also same the in series the current is same but the potential difference is different but in parallel the resistance is in, uh, in, uh, in parallel the current is different and the potential difference is same same like you see capacitors and inductors also is same so when the battery is connected to the circuit electrons are transferred from the left plate to the right plate through the battery same as positive to negative charges as this negative charge accumulates on the right side plate of c2 an equivalent amount of negative charge is removed from the left plate of c2 leaving it with an excess positive charge all of the uh, uh, right plates gain charges of minus q and all the left plates will have the gain charge gain plus q so more about the capacitance in series as an equivalent capacitor can found perform the, the same function as the series combinations the potential difference add up to the voltage uh, the so the equivalent capacitor can be found and perform the same function as the series the series combination same as uh, delta v is uh, potential difference is different and the current will be same so what is the formula in capacitor in series in final 1 by c equivalent is equal to 1 by c1 plus 1 by c2 plus 1 by c3 so the equivalent capacitance is always is less than of individual capacitance of the combinations so the c equivalent is always less than of individual capacitance in parallel c equivalent is greater than of individual capacitance c1 c2 so by problem we can by problem strategy how we combine the capacitor by using these formulas so let's dive with the first solution so be careful with the choice of units combined capacitor following the formulas when two or more unequal capacitors are connected in series they carry the same charge but no put, but the potential difference across them are not the same the capacitors add as a reciprocal and the equivalent capacitor is always less than the smallest individual capacitor it has to be remembered very importantly says that the capacitance of the the equivalent capacitance of the add as reciprocal and the equivalent capacitance will be always less than the individual capacitor the pro combining capacitors 
when two or capacitor two or more capacitors connected in parallel the potential to where across them are same so when the as i said when the capacitors are in parallel that the potential will be same the charge on each capacitor is proportional to its capacitance the charge is directly proportional to capacitor the capacitor add directly to give the equivalent capacitor so every time we solve the problem we write the circuit very uh, very combination and repeat the process until there is only one single equivalent capacitor repeat the process until there is only one single equivalent capacitor a complicated circuit can all be always be reduced to one equivalent capacitor replace capacitor in series or parallel with their equivalent rewrite the circuit and continue so we know the the complicated circuit can be always be difficult so reduce to one equivalent circuit by parallel or it is parallel or it is continue to solve the strategy to find the charge on the potential difference or the potential difference across one of the capacitor start with your final equivalent capacitor and work back to the circuits if you want to find the uh, each capacitor of this potential difference or the charge find first find out the equivalent capacitor so by so use the following equation by working through the circuit diagram first capacitor equation c is equal to q by delta v it is very important formula next in parallel c equal to is equal to c1 plus c2 plus c3 it has to be remember and the condition is in capacitors in parallel are always the same voltage and does and the does as does the equivalent capacitor same as the equivalent capacitance in series 1 by c equal to 1 by c1 plus 1 by c2 plus 1 by c3 the uh, capacitor in series are always the same charge q and as the equivalent capacitance so so the circuit reaction example so the graph between delta v and q capacitance so that so first we can take the example find the equivalent capacitance of the three capacitors connected in parallel with the 24 voltage battery so these are connected in parallel 2 4 and 6 so the voltage will be same so the charge will be added so vt the total voltage is equal to v1 plus v2 plus v3 all equal so we are parallel so we can add the the capacitor c is c equal to c1 plus c2 plus c3 so 2 plus 4 plus 6 12 micro farad farad now the equal the of the capacitor is parallel which is always greater than the largest in the circuit so 12 is the our c equal and 12 are always greater than c 6 mu of farad and 12 is always greater than 4 mu of farad and 2 is 12 is always greater than you know for the friend so like this we can find the equal capacitor next next example is find the total charge q and charge across the each capacitors so by the above example it is the continuation to find the total charge so so what we got c equal is equal to 12 micro farad so all the voltages are equal so 24 24 24 so c is equal to q by v formula so q is equal to cv so we want to find the q1 q2 q3 q1 is equal to 2 c is equal to what 2 into 24 what is next q1 next q3 so the q total is equal to c equal into voltage q total is equal to 2 microfarad 12 microfarad into 24 q total is equal to so let's take the complex problem of this solution find the c equivalent if delta potential difference is 12 volts and find the um, voltage in c capacitor 4 so let's look at this for c1 and c3 are uh, are not in parallel make sure you understand why so c1 and c3 are in not in parallel because c1 and c2 are in series first next c2 and c4 are not in series so c first you can solve the c1 and c2 c2 or in series c1 make sure you can use the correct equation and next 1 by c12 is equal 1 by c1 plus 1 by c2 in all the formula so it is equal to 1 by 2 don't forget to invert c12 is equal to 2 microfarad and next 2 uh, microfarad and c c2 c12 and c3 are in parallel so same and next c1 in parallel make sure you correct equation so the equation c2 c12 and c3 are in parallel so c is c123 is called c1 plus c2 c12 plus c3 so equal to 4 and c1234 and c4 are in series 
series make sure the correct equation c equivalent so use the formula 1 by c1 2 3 plus 1 by c1 c2 4 1 by 2 next do not invert curve c equivalent to 2 microfarad so c equivalent to 2 microfarad if you see the capacitor circuit on the test read you the problem first do not rush to calculate the c equivalent sometimes you are asked to do other things so next find the we know the c4 2 on 5 it's c4 if you know q4 we can calculate the good way to proceed so q4 is called q1 2 3 is called q equivalent so q equivalent is c equivalent into delta v so 2 into 2 uh, 12 24 c is called q by v e is called q by c v4 is called q4 by c4 24 by 4 so it is c voltage this captain is all these series on same charge and all the voltages are to get the voltage so capacitor same parallel all the values same voltage at the charges and total so next what we discuss in series circuits First, q in series circuits q is equal to charge will be always same and voltage will be added so c equal to c1 plus c2 c1 c2 by c1 plus c2 and next in parallel circuits c q is also the sum of the charges and in potential degree will be same for complex to reduce the circuits in steps and following the rules both series and parallel connection solve the problem and this is my tiktok topic hope you like it and thank you